What's up guys, this is the Rogueman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to round off where we left the last part, we have a chance to intercept this Persian stack, which I am going to do because they're going to going to force them to attack my city where I can annihilate them with quicklime shots. And ultimately I'm going to need to keep pressing into the Middle East Theatre, so let's crack on. Um, the main concern is that it will naturally uh, drive me towards conquering their territory, which will give me a land border with India. And I'm quite ready to be involved in that grind. Um, but the of pressure is near, so we all know that my drive eastwards and southwards and northwards, depending on where you want to look, uh, is coming to fruition. And I could bring my force to bear, to but we can't have everything we'd like, so where's the... Okay, that's the ruin section. So let's take... Deploy you all out here a minute. So, so I've got to fiddle with my sound because it's way too loud in my microphone. My headphones, sorry. It's not as many troops as I'd like, probably because I have loads of artillery. So they can deploy up straight ahead and then to the right. So I can say for sure, I think some are going to go try go for here. But they're definitely going to go for here. So I'm probably going to want to do... Let's do this with fireball off. Let's deploy fusiliers ready to deploy a load of stakes. And probably deploy a line of stakes back here too. Then let's start deploying my line infantry. Obviously all these guys are going to end up having to uh, rotate around a bit depending on where the AI chooses to deploy. Then let's put you there for good measure. So that leaves me with okay, two units of cuirassiers so they're going to sit back here in relative safety. I may as well deploy another foot unit here because being realistic that's probably they're definitely going to try they're definitely going to breach that so let's deploy my howitzers one facing this direction and one facing this direction both ready to rock and roll with quicklime that doesn't even leave me with a handful of line infantry divisions let's move my 12 pounders back out of the way same with my general to be honest, I might put one unit of line infantry on. Mm. Well, to be honest, what I might do is actually deploy my line infantry on the walls and then just redeploy as necessary. Okay, so deploy stakes. Deploy stakes. And you guys are not needed, so you go down here. Oh, so they're hitting this unit pretty rapidly in which case then I might actually run them here let's run this unit of infantry all off of the wall rapidly because they are going to be lost if I don't let's limber up Togus, toggle stakes Oh no, you might still be useful actually. Let's leave some on the wall and then let's position some to help cover this breach. What is that? That's abysmal. Too late now, you need to position yourselves to provide fire. Or get out of the way. that's a breach so let's get quick climb shot to focus on the gap let's get you shrapnel shot firing on the breach position my line You know, fusiliers. Oh, 
And as these guys deploy around, I want to run my infantry with them. This line infantry guard is getting pounded. So, you get on to round shot, focus fire the foot artillery. This is where it's going to be the most bloody. Yes, See, so they're climbing it up, but it feels like they're probably going to go for the breach, just the same as everyone else. See if we can get these guys off the wall because they're suitably bugged. Good, we're making serious inroads against their artillery. To be honest, I might have to move you round, get you guys to fire round shot, and pound this section of the wall, and probably bring you guys down here like so. Because I do not want them to breach that wall. Building lost, is that the gate? Yeah, it's the central gate. Get ready to deploy my cuirassiers. So there come this, these rear, rearward units of musketeers. To be honest, they're probably going to rout. If not, charge into them. They've engaged in combat, but they're probably going to rout. Let's get some of my elite infantry down here. Oh. Hit those guys with cast shot. This unit of Republican Guards, you need to get down here as well. Probably go like. So, good. So we'll lose some musketmen from that, so I'm going to halt fire. Oh, there we go. That's probably why my PC's unhappy. I thought maybe I might have massacred some people, but it appears not. Target that unit of musketeers, because that would be a delicious move to make. Is that the general? It's the general coming around on the right. Try falling back my infantry, my cavalry, just so I can do this with a bit of safety. Fire! So starting to run. I could blow up this section of the wall. That'd be quite simple. So you fire shot and shot on the breach, you fly around shot into the into the ground maybe. So 
this unit of musketeers is going to route, or will route eventually. This unit of musketeers is, feels safe outside, but not when... Ooh, is the artillery routed? Sure has. Quick line ahoy. You target that unit that's sat there at the back. Oh, that would be a delicious target. Slightly less delicious now, but I'll still take it. Let's retarget my efforts. You hit that unit because they're sat back there not really doing anything. Yeah, you've taken some casualties, alright. Delicious. I'm going to expend a lot of musket ammunition on them, but that's fine. I'm not really worried about conserving ammunition in this battle. As usual, it's going to come down to the howitzers to do the bulk of the killing. But that's pretty common for Indian factions. There's another troop going for the breach. The ammunition supply on my fusiliers looks good. I could optimise where these regiments are placed, but I don't really think I'm going to bother. Canister shot coming in. Absolutely decimating their ranks. Still taking lots of damage from my musketeers, from my howitzers. Still not reloading properly. What's your ammunition actually doing? Oh, you got loads. Probably helps that a portion of them can't actually shoot. There we go, now they're bringing greater numbers. Oh, well they were. I thought they were going to advance in format, but I suppose not. They're finally moving in. It's combat after severe losses. That's a beautiful little little target, but... For my howitzers, but I don't think it's going to matter. If I do that... No. Nope. They're going to miss. So let's get the howitzers to shoot at this unit, which thinks it's going to get away unscathed. Who's that? Some 24 pound howitzers, eh? They're out of range, but that's a job for my cuirassiers, I think. Get my crossiers out onto the field. So they are going to be. Oh no, they're going to go back to a breach. Delicious casualties. There's two units here. You can see two of their um, officers. Well, there were two officers. There were two units. Get them out of dodge because I don't want the gate to be open when these guys try to run around. It does mean tired units or soon to be tired units, but I'd rather soon to be tired than trapped and dead. Well, I could send them after them. Where's their cavalry? They didn't appear to have any. Well, they had some camels, camel bodyguard, but they've ever so nicely decided to to route. Let's get one of my targets. Let's get one of my howitzer batteries to target the camel gunners. You to target that unit of camel gunners. Uh, 
Yeah, let's chase them down. Just because I'm on a mini war of attrition doesn't mean I shouldn't. This artillery would be a nice set of kills, but to be honest, foot artillery is not a massive killer in in this game. Hold artillery, hold musket fire, because my cavalry going to do the job. So the general's going to come around the flank. Maybe to try and intervene. Feels like those units are going to try to go through this breach. Although I wouldn't be surprised if, if the general does come around, they will be too late to save their men. Still hitting the camel gun is good. Let's hop back to my cavalry. There we go. My other unit of cuirassiers has hit the other retreating unit. Fourteen men left. Then I'll set them to go and trot off and try kill the. Oh. See, that's what happens when you don't optimise your cavalry, your, your um, artillery shot, sorry. Um, but at the same time, the lack of necessary micro, I think, is makes it worthwhile overall. Oh, so close. Well, these guys are done, so... Go after that 24 pound a foot, I suppose. You keep at it. Although I suspect that uh, artillery unit will route before I get to them because they've not got much left in terms of troops, so. Eh. Hit them with round shot. Or are you actually. No, you're not within quick climb range of either of my batteries. But they're general. Yep. Three, two. There's one guy down here. Oh, and you're the last one left, me old mucker. Got him. You also go after their artillery, but just walk. I'm going to triple speed this now, actually, because I think they're all... And there you get the generals forming some sort of redoubt against his cavalry. Got to keep an eye out for any cheeky shrapnel shots. If they do a shrapnel shot, then um, I'll start sprinting my guys. But till then, walking is fine. See, they're just tired. So then they get to here and run in under the guns. They're not firing, which is excellent. The general's not going to withstand this. The artillery is not going to withstand this. Still didn't use diamond. Oh god. That must be from my guys. <laughs> Either way, heroic victory for us. And a very... That's... I just think that's the best way to fight the Indian states. You can fight them on the open field. Um, but look at that for an exchange ratio. I mean, granted, I, have, I had so many more men. But most of those men were in reserve. But good god, that's a big loss for them. Do I try? I'm gonna water this just because I've just fought one. 
I've just fought that battle. I don't want to fight the same battle twice. The pressure, the um, the victory conditions were still pretty good, um, but at the same time, oh, Spanish are falling back. On BMI, my victory, my casualty rate was about four thousand to nine hundred losses, so not and not nowhere near as good as what I could have done, but still acceptable in the face of what was what was happening. On the Spanish are just, they are freaking out. Chances are they're probably going to make for the coast. But we'll see about that. Rioting has broken out in this region as the lower orders have become too unhappy. Oh, you're fine now. You broke some stuff, but now you're okay. So you need infantry. That's what you need. You need infantry, because I need to send some oh, frame rate drop. Too many flags. So let's take this army here. Clear up those pesky Russian Huzzah! Prussian stacks. Oh, route retreating. Wow, it did not like that when I zoomed out that quickly. Okay, so this one, you're going to go straight make for the gap and plug this hole. I fear for Italians or Spanish moving eastwards, but if they do the Zagreb, which while well, they don't have any artillery, which I'll give them now. Uh, shouldn't cause that many major problems. So let's go to Persia a second, because that's where I had that those battles were. Yep, yeah, just straight up yes, replenish. Sir. Straight up replenish. Sir. You need more troops. So you're going to go back here. Immediately. Yes, sir. So do you. Holy moly. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units. Four, five. Ten turns to get here. Six. Seven. I need some skirmishes, I think. Oops, knees incoming. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yep, yeah, so I needed some skirmishes. You similarly just need just infantry, which will have to be African infantry, um, just out of necessity. So let's go make sure my... So you can't even recruit native African infantry. And you're not going to... You're not going to be of much use for a while, so it's all coming from Cairo, is it? Well, let's ship out a load of them into theatre then. Just to ease my, ease my demand somewhat. Okay, so construction house. So let's keep this upgrading. Wooden forts being upgraded to an artillery fort. Lots of growth in Anatolia. Just keep spending money. Good, good. So Austria's been upgraded. You need artillery and lots of goodness. You... You're recruited, but can I move you out? I can move you out. But I'm still going to want to do... Probably something like this. Because what I want to do is press you on towards Breslau. Oh, it's the Polish. The Polish have rebelled. Well, push on to Breslau. Ignore them. So that's they're not within a turn of getting to this cavalry. Regiment of horse, light dragoons. Just making sure they don't have any um, winged hussars. They do not like you there at all. So let's do that damn the artillery I need bodies that's what I need
I don't want to fall back any of the troops in these regions because they're about to get, or they're going to get hit by the Ottomans. To be honest, I could fall this army back. Can't build. I could have built Dumas building some good military governor's barracks, but you know, never learn. Workers riot in Austria. Yeah, but you're fixed. Workers on strike in Hungary. But you're okay. You like me again. Technological advance, mass production. Which means that Harrisburg, you are the first to be changed till eventually you've got all the technology in the game. So my fleet has arrived back to the Americas, but actually, in a change of pace, I'm going to send you back to India to bring war to their shores. That's going to be my main priority. You're still moving up on Guatemala. You are going to maintain siege with Mexico for now. Sail up the river, land in Tampico, just to stop them from manufacturing. See, the French could be useful if they decide to pull their finger out. Second-rate ship of the line. You've made it, Orion, a second-rate ship. Let's upgrade you. Yeah, feel free to uh, blockade them. You guys, it's not going to be a problem. For I have a massive trading empire and you have Iceland. Well, we'll have to put a stop to that. What I might actually do is take you and a string of these ships. You go up there and blockade that steam dry dock. Because I do not want... Oh, I want a naval hospital. Okay. So I'm going to take... Yes, sir. So what I want to do is take... That's too many. It's one too many cannons. March. So let's swap out a unit for unit of infantry. March. Then you guys can fall back to Gibraltar. March. Same with you. Um, but I think I want to take you with command of these first rates, including the Orc Town. Have a scout of Reykjavik itself to see what they're harbouring up in this region. A full stack of troops. Well, go to this naval hospital and hopefully raid it. Yes, because I want to keep that stack there. That would be a good win for me, I think. Ready oh god, is that where some of my guys are being recruited from? Well, I could just ferry them there, but I'm just going to let you keep on walking. Savoy's at war, Prussia's at war. Ooh, they're dangerously close to my capital. But I would be intrigued to see them try. So let's move you guys up here. Provoke me to attack you, I dare. More? Sir. Uh, well, let's engage them. Manuel Schmidt. Uh, let's fight it. Uh, ultimately, if we auto resolve, then it would be a bit of a, a bit of a dull way to end the game. So we'll end the turn. So what are Russians? Sounds like a plan to me. And someone is banging lots of doors. So let's crack on. So let's build a stable artillery battery. They're going to fire round shot because I don't want to do much micro. These guys are going to form up a line firing quick line. My cannons up here should generally fire over my troops. It's probably very comforting from their perspective. Yeah, guys, these should be okay. Because what I want to do is anchor a flank up against this building for my some irregulars. Then let's take up these guys. 
Lancers are ready. You're deployed. My Lancers are going to deploy in a fairly central position because I'm going to want to keep them safe for a response. Well, if they, when they break, just to charge them out because I don't think they're going to do much damage in the meantime. Wow, first volley knocked out an entire team. Let's get my how it says to drop quick land on them too. Let's see you guys. No, don't form a square. You're actually going to be. Get some, just just let, get, let them get all their shots off. I'm just, I'm just curious to see where they're going. Finally confirmed the house has been taken. As long as they don't destroy my precious house. But no, the quick lime's coming in. So what I want to do is run my cavalry into those blunderbuss shotgunners because there's no point me wasting good old fashioned round shot on them. Let's go run my cavalry up into a good position. Like I may as well make them make my uh, use my cavalry against them to make them rout because right now these guys aren't. Uh, let's get them involved as well. Pecking at their round shot. Keep pecking at their cavalry, that is. Because my my the goal is not to destroy well my goal is to knock out their um, infantry. But I will take cavalry kills. I will take um, artillery kills if that makes sense. Yeah, charge the general. As he's there. Just run my infantry out. the game shot or shot of that line infantry oh, I saw it happen let's get both into aim at you there you go so you go for that regiment of foot effectively it's turned my heart just to stop shooting because things are about to get really messy Ultimate has turned my artillery, all my artillery stopped shooting. There you go, take out those two gunners. They're chasing down this unit of line. My general is being deployed, and he'll smash straight into one of these units.
Ooh, Union of Republican Guard. I'll take them. And then you go into that unit of regimental line. This infantry unit could probably do quite a good job against this unit of guard infantry. Let's make you just run. Ah, there's the two gunners over there, that's what they're after. Aha! Frycor, right at the back. So you go for them, you go for... No, you go for the... Them, you run along here. Go for them. Then smash straight into that Frycor. Light infantry behaviour for now. Eh, I'll take I'll take infantry kills over. I'll take infantry kills over. I'll continue for sure. Good. Thankfully this unit of line infantry is routing in the right way. Oh, they must have hurt me. Hold fire. Then this triple speed it. Try go for the cavalry, but they're probably going to make it. And they've split up. Very clever indeed. Freikor are probably the better target, but I'll take a chance at trying to kill an artillery team over over a mass, over a, annihilating a light infantry team. And I got him. It's two guys. He just decided to give it up. Get him! He's about to get to the edge. Chop. Lovely. I need to stop picking away at these guys. They just won't get it. Good. 310. Uh, last 200, 1,344 killed. March. It's a delightful exchange range ratio. Let's do that. Just to finish you off. Good replenish. You take out Michael Herman. Because may as well. Good replenish. You're still in good nick. Keeping them bottled up. Then let's bring you... Let's bring you south as well. Actually, let's bring you east. You go to the gap as well. One push for Venice, one push for Milan. Then we've also got... You. Can embark. Can do that. Can do that. So once I make room here... You can do this. Psych! And then... Easy capture. Fortified town on the coast of Italy. On the mainland Italy, sorry. If I do... Oh no, there's no units there I can trap by blocking the strait. I can... This single unit of sharpshooters, which might still be worth it if I just do that. Sail you... No, really, you need to go. You blockade the trading company. You sail here just to look like you're up to no good. But yes, Naples is exempt from tax. Have they got a university? They do. Let's destroy that. Good. They got a bit too much artillery, and the fort is a high level fort, so I could be in for a bit of a dicey battle against most of these guys. Um, but I think it's going to generally be okay. So I want them try go for how strong are they not very um so at the start of the next part we'll be finishing off this stack and trying to clear out another 
Prussian invade into my territory, and that will just leave this guy here, this guy here, and the Savoyans are a bit of a concern because they've got numerous troops, but all of these guys are going to be ready to move uh, south to help threaten the Spanish. Then in time, they offer a move north to attack the, uh, the Russians. But yes, as of where we are right now, we're going to fight this fight next turn, because we get the timer, that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.